Hey everybody, welcome back, Super Auto Pets. We um, got blown out in the last one. That feels right. Uh, in this one, the shop, it tried to blow us out, but you, you try to bring me down, the fish will just rise up that much stronger. Let's be a, uh, how about a motherly beaver? It's one of those things where if you said motherly beaver, people would be like, I don't get it. But if you go motherly beaver, oh, they get it. <laughs> Mosquitoes win, that's just, uh, that's the truth. Perhaps in life, as in art. I'm a simple man. Let me get a little honey uh, hamachi here. That's a fish, right? Hamachi? That sounds right. Also a local multiplayer client, I think, maybe? I don't know specifically. Look at this. The fish gets us there. Then we get a level. Hamachi. Sounds so familiar. Owns? Owns. I think it's an acceptable take. I think the flamingo is an acceptable take just because it has like a uh, like a best before date on it. Then believe it or not, I'm going to apply more honey. I feel like I, I've, I've gone honeys under apple lately, which is not the way I want to live my life. We got to put a little bit more respect on the honey name. I'll take that any day of the week, man. Uh, it, it helps us win rounds early, which means we don't have to win so many rounds late. That's worth something to me. Now, I don't know how long the blowfish is going to be sticking around, but it does benefit second most from a buff here. Of course, yeah. Um, I still don't really want an apple. If anything, I want uh, I want more matches. But without having another match, I'm actually I'm going to buy you an apple. You know that song, I'm not going to write you a love song? Well, I will buy you a Macintosh. Probably, maybe not the one you wanted, but... Okay, I, I have a B. We will lose this one for sure. I think we performed okay, given the shops available to us. Now we want to go up a little bit. Like, obviously that, even though we have a B, you're going to benefit the most from this. I'm not a big puppy guy anymore. I think if we're going to worry about scaling, you could go rabbit. And then we're not going to sell an animal for a bit because we have this, uh, these birds are going to get combined. And then honestly, the birds can probably go. We need to find a, a genuine scaling engine. And I think the rabbit is not that, but it could be that for a minute at least. Like it, it can keep us in the game until we find one. I think we'll definitely do this. It's really hard to not just take a caterpillar just because it's also going to get um, the buff from the bird that goes to the fish. Even though it's not that amazing right now, I, I believe in a future where this can help us a little bit at least. The dream here, especially because we're going up a level on the fish, the dream would be we're getting such efficient animal usage right now. I'm very happy. Thank you, Garlic. Uh, the dream would be that we get a unit that is better than probably the bird, maybe the blowfish. I'm willing to roll once to try to make that. It completely worked out. I'm just going to say it. It completely worked out. So I think now we can sell the blowfish, even though it's doing great work. But that allows us to then put a rooster at the back. So it can get the attack from the bird. We'll have the fish move closer to the front. And we'll double tap this. It's a nice little wide buff. Don't think we need a seal. I mean, I guess if a seal replaced the bird, it might come out in the wash. We could do that next round. We also, I mean, we might want a skunk. We could, we could also dump the rabbit, honestly. Like, it's not doing that much. I feel like we're, we're kind of spoiled for choice, though, which is a nice place to be. And we haven't been there in a little bit. We like it, we like it, we like it. We're feeling okay, we're gonna get a level up here. It's perfect timing, five wins. There we go, a rhino. I, I wish that I liked it, but I don't really. Um, I think we can dump the bird. It's only giving two stats per turn. That's beautiful. Like we are, Look at that, we already got two stat points out of it right there. They're not all attack either, which is actually probably better. It's fine. We still take salads. Like, there's probably a case that I've overrated uh, 
a rabbit, but it's still one of the most efficient units, I think, at level one. You can't take that away from me. You can take this away from me? That's fine. I think their team deserved to win. I don't think there was mathematical chicanery there. Hit me with one of these. I still like it. As long as it... It doesn't even have to hit the seal for me to be happy. But I'm happiest when it hits the seal, of course. Now, our caterpillar... Um, I know what we're going to do. We're going to get you to level up one turn faster. Then we're going to sell the rabbit to get a buffalo, which is actually a bison, which is going to scale itself better than anything else in the game right now. You're obvious. Dude, honestly, this is a great team. Also, great name. Dan is better than Dr. Will. I like you're going for a Ram victory. That's audacious. It's, it, it's ambitious. I respect it. So here's what you do. Sell me. Don't buy me yet. Because you got to... We're going to buy me. And buy me then buy me sell me place me freeze me and then keep feeding that seal so we're gonna have two you're 47 you're at 32 chickens looking pretty good too i don't know it doesn't need to yeah but whatever this is a very wide team which I think is better than putting all your eggs in one basket. We almost have, like, some skunk protection. But it's not guaranteed. That more levels on the chicken would help a lot. But I want to give chocolate to the seal for right now. A turtle is also huge, but that's the downside of a team like this. I don't feel like there's anything we could really dump. Everything on the squad is pretty useful right now. We want to see high-yield foods. Beautiful. You're not level 2 yet. I don't want to buy you a, an apple at this level. I would definitely buy another sushi. We're setting up our next shop and, and feeling pretty good, honestly. We're not going to have the gold to buy everything. But to get a level 2 rooster is more valuable, I think, than getting a, a level 2 bison right now. I think that is a strong duck. It doesn't matter. We lost. Holy... Because it's a level 3 penguin. Holy cow. This only getting to six is a little disappointing, but we did run into a level three penguin team. I mean, that's basically my platonic ideal for what I would want to have. Be a hungry mouth. How about that? I thought we played that last one pretty well. Our team was kind of... I mean, I think we had below average shops and an average performance. As far as I'm concerned, that's, that's a win in my book. Interesting. Uh one of those times where you're like well it's a little much <laughs> but being able to get these levels is nice and again hey you know you get a level two early you, you get a you keep it around for longer than you expect it to be useful you get a penguin later you're feeling okay okay pavel Bure, we draw to draw with pavel Bure, it's an honor i think it's early enough to possibly work feed me freeze me I'm going to start with a, a buy me and then a pill me. It's an expensive purchase here, don't get me wrong. And then I'm like, I mean, you know where this is going. Could we combine all of my favorite archetypes in one? The answer is maybe. Round three hedgehog is brutal. Like you, oh, well, we could have moved our mosquito, but okay actually i think we're going up against a team that is very well suited to to take us out so it was more brutal for me than anything else but that's just a strong team as they countered us nicely now we want to combine I'll, I'll still do the buy sell i think we got to focus on this dog early even if it's inefficient at this point could be very efficient for later i'll take a two four and we'll sell our two two then we have a spider, and I think we can freeze the spider, or freeze the pill. It dying doesn't bother me that much. Let's, let's move it up to the front just in case. I'm going to feed the dog an apple, because we can pill the spider next turn. We get the efficiency of owning it right now, but then we can also next turn uh, get something out of it. Ooh! For only one gold. That was close. It was close, but we made it. So, pill me. Now, when you're running like a dog archetype, that could not have been better. You kind of got to stick with that dog archetype. We can't really start, you know, throwing around like a rabbit, I think. Um, 
I do think we could buy a hedgehog, strengthen our existing hedgehog. I think we could probably buy a tropical fish. And at least, you know, we get some passive buffs this way. Hmm. 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 Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think we'll sell the dromedary. And for now, it's going to look like this. But I got, I got big ideas. We, I want melon on the dog early, and then we have to sell our hedgehog or put the dog in front of the hedgehog. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. This seems fine. Hedgehog dog. We're going, we're taking him back to October. So I would say pill me, and then the hedgehog I would say is disposable now. But we'll start with this. Although if it hits the hedgehog, I'll be mildly upset. Oh, wow, desync error. No, no, his historic mismatch. What the heck did that say? I'll take a combine. I'll take a, I'll take a buy again. Especially if the dog is... Like, this has to be the rarest unit in the game when it comes to getting a second or a third. I know that that makes no mathematical sense, but in my heart, it's true. Look at that. We, I, I think that just means you have to stay committed. We should have done this a little differently, but I think now the time is right. Sell this hedgehog, buy the caterpillar. Now the caterpillar is doubling our dog, and I'm glad that I put a lot of investment into our dog in the first place. Um, now, do we want a, cat or a, a hedgehog? No, we definitely want a deer here. And we probably would look to... I don't know. It's tough. The thing is, our, our ladybug is sucking up, or sorry, our beetle is sucking up one HP per turn. And we don't want this to really be like a long-term part of our strategy. Okay. What a cheeky build. I haven't seen this build since uh, mm, we win. So I don't need a punchline. How about that? Anyway, uh, like we, we don't really want to keep you around. But we don't really, I mean, I guess if we get you to level three, we could use you as a buffalo. But you're so much better, though. I think it's better to cut the band-aid off early. Like, let's dump you. A skunk is always going to be great. At least it's better to cut the band-aid off early if you're winning. If you have low HP, sometimes you got to let that band-aid fester a little bit, unfortunately. You know what? At some point, we will want a turtle. And if we want a turtle... No, I don't think we want to go micro, but it's it's interesting. We have a, this is an unbelievable buy sell opportunity with the buffalo here. I would for now sell the tropical fish, buy a buffalo. We'll sell a deer to make space, but we don't have to do it yet. Now we we have the same trigger scaling three different units. We like this a lot. We can do better. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. It's all about keeping our HP high enough until the caterpillar pops. And if we can do that, then I, I think we're, we're sitting relatively pretty. Always a sheep, man. Always a sheep. It's always a sheep is the thing. It's always a sheep. That's fine. I'll take my loss there. You don't know. You just played right into my hands. Check this out. Sell me. Buy me. Huge buffs all around. Sell me. Buy me. Small buffs all around. Combine me. Buy me. I would like a pill, please. Now, huge, huge, maybe huge. I don't really want to sell a skunk. I want a pill. That's what I want to see. We need a pill to pill the turtle. Or we could keep the turtle to work with the caterpillar, but then we do have to sell a skunk. That's fine. Hippo rat... It's one of those things, I hate to say it, but in Super Auto Pets, I think as soon as you see the patch notes, whatever you're starting the theory craft is probably not going to be that good. I know how that sounds. Look, I, I'm sorry, Skunk. I got to do this. Everyone thought Rat Hippo. Rat Hippo, there's synergy. Synergy works in this game, but I got to keep reminding myself more than anybody else that you know what works even better than synergy? Just stats, man. Stats will do it for you. Not interested. 
Uh, you know, we could talk about putting an eagle on the team here. This is this should be our most fragile round for a minute. It's a relatively strong team, but I think we're we're looking okay. That was important. Winning this one is a very bullish signal. Very good. This not relevant, but that's okay. Now, we don't need a pill anymore. We could just set it up like that. It wouldn't be the worst thing if we got one. No buy sell mechanics. Okay, let's add an eagle for a second. If we got a pill, we still might take one. I see no valuable buy sell mechanics here. I do kind of like a 412 over a 65, but you do summon another animal. So I'm just going to buy you some pizza. So we're going to have a two 2331s. There's going to be two melon armors, which means we don't want to see like mosquitoes. This is also pretty nasty, but I think we're okay. Good, the, the math just worked out. All right, I'm feeling stable. I'm feeling good. We want these buy-sell mechanics. The eagle's got to go. Because eventually, and it might not even take that long, but the, the buffalo may pass the dog. And that's something we actually want. And we got to think, we're on seven... Seven, I think, is a good number to, like, buy, <laughs> sell, buy, sell, and buy. Like, normally, with only, like, a dog, that wouldn't be so good. But we basically have, like, three dogs. So we're getting three times the efficacy. That's, that's my review. Peepo G, write that down. It might seem inefficient, but if you've got three times the inefficiency, look at how efficient it is. It's a clever team. It's a team I respect. It's a team I respect beating as well. That takes us to eight. It's got to be a fun team to run, though. Now you got to go. Like, I hate to say it, but you got to go. You're getting added here. This team's getting strong. Now, it's a good buy-sell opportunity, like with the dragon and a pig. Am I willing to get rid of your melon armor? I... Normally, the answer would be absolutely not. But for right now, I'm like, I think the answer might be yes. We can afford to take an L briefly if we have to. There's a catch, though. And the catch is that we do want a turtle later. I think the melon armor might have busted it there. Like, we might have won with the melon armor. But, hold on. Like, if we could have our final animal here be a turtle, I think we would be thrilled. But there's a part of me right now that's like, I think I got a little greedy, honestly. Because, like, the dragon's not doing very much for us when we're already this close to, to peaked, you know? We don't really need a level 3 uh, buffalo. You're already getting there. Stats are looking great. I'm going to buy you for the stats. I'm going to sell you. And then I'm going to hope for a dream roll. Nothing here really does anything for us. With God as my witness, I think you, maybe you run a dragon stake at the front. Nothing else like, what, we're going to run a 4-3 tiger with no upside? A 2-5 peacock round 27 with no upside? Now I do see we have a level 3 situation here. A level 3 turtle, I should... Oh, never mind. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> it was not that scary. It's a great buy-sell. Okay, you're maxed. So we have no more buy-sell efficacy. We should just take animals that do things. Turtle, scorpion, turtle is huge. We can get rid of you, but you have a steak. So we need something that beats a steak for the cost of three gold. It's none of these. It's an interesting idea. <laughs> Actually, melon armor is just the best. There was a part of me that thought, what if you added a microbe into this? What if you end, <laughs> like, all of your melon armored units, then microbe, turtle, caterpillar? But I think we did the right thing. Dude, this, I don't know, this team's really strong. Never mind, it's not that strong, it just had a snake. I make that mistake from time to time. The dog now has two 10 pieces in a row, and that's, 
that's surprising to me because we we would had ridden off the dog to some extent. I think we'd basically been like this dog is is going nowhere. Let's be the rude sausages. This team is very good. It might not be that. You know what? It's exactly mathematically equivalent. I'll take that. I'll always feel happy adding a 2-3. And I'll always be happy. You know what? For now, I'm just going to have some honey back here. Add honey to the mosquito because we know the mosquito is going to be making the best use of the equipment because we're not going to sell it anytime soon. Like, it's, it's going to go to level 2. It's going to be our strongest unit. So it gets the equipment first. Everything else right now is a little bit more disposable. Hit me. Hit me. Always, because it, whatever we scale... Now, this is basically double the effect of your scaling. I will take. I'll also take... There's a little desync error there real quick. It's a little bit more perspective here, but I'll take anyway. And you know what? I'll feed you an apple, because it's, it's basically a pear, because I'm also feeding our caterpillar an apple. Now, admittedly, our mosquito should be at the back. That's on me. High spider efficiency. Very close. But you know what? I like that my caterpillar is going to be here. It's going to be generating levels for me. It means I don't feel bad about just taking one of those right off the top. I think it is a little late for you now. I wish it weren't, but I, I do feel that it is. You're a 3-5? That means, honestly, Caterpillar gets a little bit of the buff there. We're going to get a level up from our Caterpillar. It would be a great opportunity if you're interested. Oh, we're in a nightmare here. Hey there, Delilah. What a name. Favorite song, perhaps? That's cute. There's no need to be mean just because I'm upset they beat me, okay? Don't buff the Caterpillar. Buff the fish. The Caterpillar's going to get it themselves. Now... Let's add you into the system. Let's sell you. I think it's a little late to think that a hedgehog is going to do a lot for you. I'm willing to throw an owl out here, basically just to exist for a minute. Uh, I'm willing to take a huge L this round in order to have a hatching chick plus garlic come out on something next round. Now remember, we don't have anything that our caterpillar is really scaling off right now, so... That's uh, on the list of things that I would love to see. That's fine. This, this was likely, I would say. Interesting. Okay, sell me? The skunk's not going anywhere. The, the fish is the next unit to go. We don't need more hatching chicks. I think this is peak efficiency for a hatching chick. Now, with no... Uh, garlic... I'm going heavy on the meats because I really don't want to lose this round. Losing this round would be highly suboptimal. We're going to make it. That's what, the, that's what the bee's there for in the first place. There's win number two. Non-stop lobsters, huh? Now the fish has been doing great stuff. You know what you can do. You can keep the fish at 6-7 with meat. Now you got a 6-8. Give us some garlic. You're going to pop next turn. And we got that classic caterpillar situation where you're actually going to get a little weaker. We haven't really been able to go all in on, on one unit here. <laughs> That's okay. It happens, is, is the reality of it. Uh, you're actually going to get stronger as long as we have a hatching chick with us. We don't need another caterpillar. We may want more garlic. It's At least I think it's worth a freeze. We need scaling units as soon as possible. Like, to get on this level up here, to get a uh, a buffalo would send me over the moon. I think that's one of my last chances at getting to 10 wins. Keep in mind, we're only at 3. We're fairly lucky to get there. Not a buffalo. That's a goat. And that's a problem. I don't think we need this, though. We need, we need scaling. That's not good enough. This is very nice for everybody involved, at least. A rhino. I mean, it's so it would be a... T I mean, stats are worse than the skunk. Its effect is, like, almost never pops. <laughs> so, you know what? I think this is your classic round where if we win, great. No problems. The skunk can do good work for us in, in a lot of situations. If we lose... 
Also, that's fine. But we're gonna win. Uh, we we just it the, a lot of the shop is frozen. I'm not sure if you've noticed that part yet. That's lovely. Um, sure. Uh, I think you can probably at this point. I think you sell the fish. We already got its main effects, and then we start. Uh, there's your problem. What are we gonna make stronger? We don't really want to double the effect of a mosquito, but we also don't want to buff a skunk. So. We're going a tiger level up for almost no reason, and that means we're adrift in no man's land. I no longer am responsible for the actions I'm taking. Well, uh, all that work we did really made their, uh, their camel popped. You're welcome for that. But look at this. <laughs> oh my god. I know I literally just invested in you. I think, I think we have to say hatching chick goes. You come here, and then at least we get one, two, three, and then we sell, and I think we're going to try an eagle out of, you know what, while, while we're here, I'm a big believer, but this team versus our last team, you can see why I'm not that confident right now. The skunk has done some amazing things. Thank you so much. Couldn't the skunk it without you? Holy cow, the snail won it. 2-2 two, two snail versus 1-2 monkey. What can you say? Well, we don't really need an eagle. It, I mean, it's kind of like a built-in bee, so it's not that bad, but it's not that good either. Ah, it's always an interesting idea. The gorilla. Almost never works, uh, but interesting. Certainly it's an interesting one. I think, I hate to say it, okay? I think we run Eagle for now, and then we try to do a no-life T-Rex buff build. But we're going to be hanging on by, like, the seat of our pants right here. I feel like that went really well, but I could be wrong. I feel like your fly not surviving uh, from your hedgehog is a pretty serious tactical misstep. Why don't we spend one, see if we get a T-Rex? Honestly, I'll live with that, man. That's not so bad. I'm gonna... We have to stay on three gold, so let's try to get the tiger to... to level three, but I, I don't know if we're gonna live that long. It's tough. It's, it's a hard life out here. I lived. Oh my god. This feels like a vintage run. Like, how am I still alive despite not playing exactly optimally? Nothing. We really want the tiger to level up. That's worth more than anything else. Now, in this situation, unfortunately, you can't always get what you want. Everything's getting buffed. Caterpillar, I think, still remains almost our strongest unit. Okay, not quite our strongest, but almost our strongest unit. I don't even know what just happened, but the mosquito broke exactly enough melon armor. More T-Rex or tiger, please. I'm willing to buy one. Uh, if, we're, if we're willing to buy one, we basically got to buy two. It doesn't give us any extra yield on this turn, really, but we got a lot of level three optics if we're lucky enough to live. We're not going to be lucky enough to live, but you already know, just to get to eight there, I was pretty pleased considering the construction of our team. I was happy with that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!